morning everyone happy thursday um i haven't vlogged in such a long time honestly there's just so much going on mentally emotionally physically there's a lot going on um obviously covid19 is i think taking a toll on everyone the past like couple weeks my mental health has just been complete shit um and that's just me being honest um, we also have a lot going on. Um, I've had a lot going on with work and Cameron is leaving. Um, I haven't really mentioned that before, but he is deploying. I know a while back I said that there's a lot of changes going on um, and I'll talk about it eventually. And yeah, um, he's deploying. Um, he was supposed to deploy two months ago, but due to COVID, it's getting pushed back. Um, we still don't have a date yet, but he is leaving very, very soon. Um, yeah. He's leaving very soon um, and we are dealing with all of that and mentally I'm not okay with him leaving. Obviously I have two little babies that I gotta take care of all by myself. I'm not gonna talk much about his deployment right now. Obviously there's a lot going on right now with that. I'm not gonna talk much about it. I'm not gonna tell you where he's going, when he's leaving, when he's coming back, I'm not talking about it. So just know he's leaving. Um, we're actually getting our basement finished soon. Um, we actually just did the contract and everything. Um, the basement finish should be starting in like two weeks, I think. You're getting stuff all over me. So yeah, we're getting our basement finished. Um, we decided we were thinking about buying a bigger house. Um, and that was like really heavily considered. But um, with everything going on and the way the market is right now, the market is really, really, really expensive. Like um, I looked at like the builder that I work for and it's just like crazy expensive. Like it doesn't make sense. And I'm sorry, I don't think the houses are worth that much in Colorado, but that's what the market is right now. So that's what it is. You can't have any more. Um, so we decided to finish our basement to add an extra bedroom, bathroom, and rec room. Um, so it'll be so nice to have like an office and like a place to hang, a toy area. So clearly there's been, since, since we're getting our basement finished, there's been a lot of cleaning and organizing and getting everything like kind of situated. Um, Cameron and I have actually been doing a lot of house projects and work projects. So we actually built an outdoor couch and outdoor coffee table. Cameron made a planter. He made this coffee table. You guys probably know about that one. I don't know, did I guys show you guys that one? Cameron built that one. Um, we built a shelf. Um, we have a lot of like projects. Um, Cameron and I have noticed that we're actually really good with woodwork. Um, some of the projects that we've done is like kind of like shockingly. Um, Landon has been really testing us lately. Landon's been absolutely horrible. He's been like not listening. He's just, I don't know. He's going through a phase. Everyone says terrible twos. God damn, are they right? <laughs> um, Cause he's just been awful. He's just been awful. He's just not listening. He just wants what he wants. And <sighs> Asher's been a pretty good baby. Um, he's been a little weird about sleeping lately. I think he's going through a four month sleep regression. You know he's five months old. Say hello. Yeah. Say hello. I've been super into like baking lately. I don't know. Cameron got me a stand mixer for my Mother's Day present, and I'm obsessed. Um, even before that, I was just baking like all the time. So, um, yeah, I don't know. This may be like a two-part video. I may do today and tomorrow. I don't know yet. Um, Cameron's at work today and you know I, I was working this morning and I just don't want to work anymore and then I was like you know what I'm gonna put some makeup on so I put makeup on and now I was like you know what I'm gonna vlog so now we're gonna vlog so I don't know how it's gonna go today um, I know I'm gonna make some chicken in the crock pot today um, we've actually been doing HelloFresh um, and that's been so good I was hesitant at first with the portion sizes, but they're actually pretty decent. Um, and they're pretty easy to make. So I do think it's a little expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but I do think it's worth it in the fact of you don't have to put much thought into what you're gonna make. It's everything's there in the bag and it's good to go. Like, that's a good thing about it. So yeah, we've been doing HelloFresh, but um, I've been like really off with like cooking and I've been doing a lot of baking because I like to, st I stress bake. So when I'm like feeling anxious or depressed or anything, I tend to bake a lot. Um, and so that's what I was doing, um, but I haven't been cooking. I've been just so not wanting to cook lately. 
like the past two weeks I feel like I've just been super super off I did get my period so I just I did get my first period since having Asher and getting pregnant so it's been my first period in, within a year and a half and it was like awful at first and that it kind of just was fine and it was only like four days which is actually surprising um so yeah I was bleeding so yeah I had my period and it was awful and it kind of took a lot on me but I just haven't wanted to do anything like honestly I haven't wanted to cook I have ba barely wanted to clean and I've just been so off and I really think it's like I don't want to say postpartum depression anymore because like I'm so far postpartum um because I was struggling hard with it and I felt great but I just think like my mental health just isn't great and I've been getting into these like funks where I'm just like don't want to do anything and my work has been taking such a toll on me and then the way land has been acting has taken a toll on me and your girl's tired but I feel like I'm finally starting to feel like myself again and like I want to make a crock pot meal today and I've been like cleaning up like I organized my pantry yesterday and I've been donating a bunch of clothes and shoes and stuff um so there's just been some things that's been going on but yeah we're gonna bring you along today I think we're gonna make some cookies today I think we're gonna make a crock pot meal um I want to organize Asher's room a little bit more because we're gonna have to start putting boxes inside the boys closets of clothes while the basement gets finished because nothing could go in the basement and our basement is completely packed so we've been trying to organize that like I said um and yeah I've been doing a lot and my house is literally upside down so don't mind that today but um why is this one piece straight and then the rest is curled what I don't know but um uh, yeah so welcome to today's video after all that rambling yeah. So, you know, I was having a pretty decent day today and I was like, you know, I'm going to vlog today. Today's a great day. And then I just received Cameron's deployment date. So, you know, things you, as a military wife, like you're always prepared for deployment and you know, that's what they signed up for. I get it. But 
when you're a military wife, like you think about deployments and you always fear the worst. And you know, like you always think like, my kids aren't gonna have a father for six months and you know, daddy's not gonna be here. And it sucks for me because like Landon's really getting attached to Cameron right now. And he's gonna be really sad when Cameron's not here. He asks for Cameron all day long when Cameron's just at work. So am I getting tear drops on you? So I mean, it's just like I said, you, like, you're always prepared for this. And I've been prepared. Like, you're always prepared for it and you always know what's gonna happen. And I've been prepared for this deployment. But getting an actual date and it not being the date you expected it and it being sooner than you thought just makes everything like so much harder. So, hold your family tight because you never know when they're going to leave. Right? Now I'm like so sad. So, um, I just made Landon some lunch. He's having some chicken fries and oranges because that's what he asked for, so that's what he gets. <laughs> um, and Asher just woke up from a little nap and I was just on FaceTime with my mom. I should have been cleaning and stuff, but you know, today took a definite turn of events. So I'm about to start my chicken in the crock pot, I'm making salsa verde chicken. And then um, Lana should be taking a nap soon. And then hopefully, when that happens, I can get some cleaning done. I don't know. He doesn't want to be put down today. Hi. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I make that salsa bearded chicken. Oh, these are super cute. So my mom actually ordered these because I found them. So my mom went a little crazy and bought like a, a, a bunch of clothes for Landon at a store. And she felt so bad that she bought nothing for Asher. So she's like, send me some stuff I can get for him. Um, and honestly, he doesn't need clothes because he has a lot of Landon's hand-me-downs, obviously. Second child problem. But what he has needed is some teethers because he's been really into teethers. And so my mom bought him an Oreo teether not too long ago. And she just bought these. How cute, okay, uh, let me see please. Um, how cute are these? They're wood teethers. You can actually, there's a little hole so you can actually attach a bead to it to click it onto them. Um, well, I'll probably have to buy some of those because it doesn't come with it. But they're so cute! I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link down below of these because they're so adorable. I love it. So the next thing is this box, which I don't, recall what I ordered or if my mom got oh oh yeah so I also ordered a pack of um what are these a five pack of charging cables um Karen needs to bring some for his deployment and then we need some here and then I also bought a mat for underneath my the front door. Super cute! Can't wait, let's put it outside. Mm -hmm. 